guys welcome back to hello younger me if you are new here my name is chica it's very nice to meet you thank you for coming back if you're old don't forget to subscribe um so today is story time okay something is on my heart today to tell you ah i, I really hope you learn from my experience i really hope you do the things i didn't do okay so if you're interested stick around okay interested so you came back home okay i'll tell you so what happened was that i was moving um to a different apartment so the one i was staying in previously it was really expensive because i was paying for a two-bedroom apartment and it was just me um and i chose that one because that was the only one available when i moved into that city moved into the city um, but like after a semester when um, more apartments opened opened up there were better options cheaper closer so i found one i got someone to sublease my current my current apartment till my lease expired because i still had some months on my lease my contract um so someone else continued that lease and i moved to a different apartment okay um so yeah so i got an apartment moved in it was on the third floor there were no elevators and i carried every single thing by myself i think i almost went into like low blood sugar shock like it was i didn't eat i don't know sometimes i'm just like let me just get it done just get it done i just woke up in the morning started moving everything before i knew it before i knew it i really finished and i felt terrible like I had a stream it was hot it was texas it was hot I had a headache i was tired um but yeah i did it um thank god i i was able to move by myself i feel like most of my moves have actually just been me you realize how strong you are when you need to move apartments like <laughs> anyway so i got to this new apartment right and the first thing i see when i opened the door was a dish a sink full of dishes like both of them two sinks they were both full oh my gosh just one off day it doesn't mean that's how it always comes out didn't mean that's how it was gonna be right that's what i thought but yeah my room was really nice because the apartment was really was new they had just built it so my room was very nice like the bed had a, a really nice frame it was pretty the bathroom was large i was happy um it was a four bedroom four bathroom so i had a, my own room and i had my own bathroom i have two other roommates so we had an empty room um the two of them were students too in my school as well um yeah so it was so far so good um but yeah as i started living there i realized that that's Thing i thought what was a one-time thing it's kind of like an everyday thing okay there were always dishes the thing is we had a dishwasher so all you had to do was put the dishes in the dishwasher and push it and press a button one button but no every time like i i would wash everyone's dishes multiple times and they even get an acknowledgement sometimes like oh yeah you know that happened it's fine you know we had work out so i was like it's fine i just i hated seeing them i hated i hate seeing dishes every time in the sink um it was even one time when um one of my roommates used my baking tray my own but to be my money baked put it in the sink just left it there for days i was like maybe she'll wash it today maybe she'll wash it tomorrow it went on like that for days i just had to just wash it by myself you know and i was just it was very at that point i just couldn't understand honestly like why why do people do things like like why aren't you if you are the person that does that just do 
make other people feel uncomfortable when that shouldn't be the case you should really think about that like think about how what you do affects people i'm not saying let that guide you but be aware that certain things you could do it a different way you know that would be better for everyone in the other in, in your living room space there are things that are important not only for you here but when you get a job you know doing things that are um show lack of awareness that show insensitivity could come back to haunt you so it's not it's not a good thing to have going forward you know just be aware all right so yeah that happened um the second thing was the fridge it was nasty okay i i i had i i, I had gotten fed up and i decided to clean the fridge and I kid you not, I saw like an actively growing fungus. Actively growing in that fridge. It was the nastiest thing I had to do. Because <laughs> I had to like bring all the shelves out, wash them, throw things away. Um, and something interesting happened. I don't know if it was related, but after I cleaned the fridge, I got a fungal infection on my, on my neck. Kid you not, it was a bad time it was a really bad time but i don't know i don't know if the fungus that like, grew in for food could actually affect your skin i mean i'm just i may be stretching it but it was nasty okay um that happened and then there was the trash so the only place to throw trash when i moved in it was at least i want to say like four blocks away it was like maybe like point two miles walk wasn't that bad but like walking with heavy trash bags in the sun it seemed like forever <laughs> so but then like no one no one liked train trash so, like every time i came back home it would be full like people going to i'm like oh, god i felt like a house help <laughs> so i washed plates clean free clean all trash again i said i don't know i i couldn't understand how we were comfortable just like every time Anyways, and then so my apartment did something nice. They actually introduced a trash ballet, meaning all we had to do, fam, all we had to do was pick up the trash from the trash can and walk to the door, open the door, put the trash right outside our apartment door, not in front of the whole building. The door that opens your apartment was right beside that door. That's what you have to do. And guess what? I still have to do that. I was like, what is wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Like it was a very interesting experience, honestly. Like coming from like where I was living on my own, like in a two-bedroom place, you know, coming back home, everything was in order. I'm, I'm that kind of person. I mean, I might annoy you sometimes. I just like things being in order, you know coming back home everything is in order i'm going to a place where there are dishes here trash is everything is looking nasty even cleaning the floor i never saw anyone sweep maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm biased now but i don't remember seeing anybody sweep or mop or dust nothing <sighs> it was interesting to crown everything up one of my roommates got a dog I have nothing against animals i actually do like dogs i don't like them on me i don't like them licking my face or any part of my body but i like i like seeing them from afar you know they're not they're nice you know um i can't deal with cats but i do like dogs um i never had a pet growing up so i'm not used to any animal of any kind be you small be you big be you anything any color you are any animal i'm not using anything touching my body if you're not a human being and you move and you touch me it feels weird that's that's it i don't, I don't know how to explain that but yeah i'm not used to animals at all but you know for the sake of experiencing a culture it's like fine when you get in the door like yeah okay go get it because she asked me about it um and I was a bit worried because in college getting a dog can be a handful because you have to take them for walks care for them you know <clears throat> excuse me make sure they are fed it's like a, you know it's a living thing so you have to take care of it you know, there's no excuses 
um and she seemed busy so i was like well, it's like are you trying to get a dog <laughs> but she wanted to it's like expensive to get a dog just so you know if you think about doing that oh yeah she got a dog um and it was everything was fine at first but then she wasn't taking good care of it at a point so i'll come back and the whole house will be smelling this is not ordinary smell not like oh someone hasn't taken a shower like nauseating smell like i almost i i was like i almost threw up the dog had been in the cage it looked like for hours it looked like the dog had pooped in the cage and had peed in the cage and my roommate was not around and the cage was right beside my door yes wonderful that happened um the dog would sometimes pee on the floor you know bite things you know just that regular regular things that dogs do um in my apartment um yeah so that was that was that's my experience you know with off-campus apartments and honestly let me i won't scare you that has been my worst experience so far nothing has been as bad as that my next uh roommate was amazing shout out to team lady yisa um she was amazing um but yeah that happened so what do i want you to possibly take away from this experience um so i always say this i think it's really important. i wish i like hello younger me i hope you do this speak up i feel like if i had had a conversation about how i was feeling in the apartment you know because all the things i told you about washing blades trash fridge dog i never really opened my mouth to say i don't like what you guys are doing i always thought they would figure it out like wouldn't everybody know that this is an uncomfortable situation but no people may not know that so open it this one open it speak up Tell them how you feel in a very respectful way, mind you. Don't be rude, you know. Nobody would respond to that nicely. So, yeah, speak up. Um, it's also called, I mean, there are some things that, you know, you can you can learn to compromise on, you know, like not always having everything done your way, you know, learning how to adapt situations. That helped me too. I hope you take it. I hope you take um take that away from this story, you know. Like I wasn't used to that situation living with too many people. That was two two was a lot of people for me. <laughs> you know, so learning how to do that. Um but yeah, those are my two big takeaways. Like speak up and embrace the compromise you get to have with having roommates. Um but yeah, um do you have any horror stories? like to share feel free to leave a comment down below um i hope to see you guys soon bye you got that something that can't be seen you got that one thing